Good morning, everyone. Um, we're looking at Matthew's Gospel, chapter 18, throughout the whole of this week. And um, I just want to pick out two verses from the passage that we have this morning. The first one from Jesus says, Unless you become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of God. Um, and I've spoken about this before, I know, but it's important to, I think, understand that we'd really just get caught up in the complexities of life. Sometimes that's unavoidable. And what is it about uh, children, the nature of children, um, that we started to miss out on as adults? And I think really it comes down to simplicity. Life is not complicated for little children. It's quite simple. And they, they're joyful, they're enthusiastic, uh, and they really engage in, in, uh, in, in what they are taught. Um, they get excited about it. Um, and, and we need to, to be excited also about our faith. You know, we mustn't lose touch of that. Uh, and, and when Jesus says, become like little children, I, I think it's a challenge for us. Um, it, we're not asked to be childish, but we are asked to be childlike and, uh, and, and to, to um, just make sure that we attend to the things that are important. Because ultimately, we only live this life once. And we don't want to turn back and say, so we missed out on that opportunity because we got caught up in everything that was going on around us. The second uh, verse that I'd just like to look at, Jesus says, I tell you that their angels in heaven are continually in the presence of my Father in heaven. And I think this is a very clear indication of the, or evidence, if you like, of the existence of guardian angels that all of us have guardian angels. Um, some of them, I think, probably work really hard. Mine, I think, probably want to go back for a refund. But um, the fact that we have guardian angels means that we have a spiritual force about us, another being that cares for us on a spiritual level. And when we feel alone, spiritually, whatever, let's just appeal to our guardian angels and say, I know that you're there. Just give me the reassurance. Give me the energy that I need to be able to do what it is that God wants me to do. Because you are my guardian angel, you are close to God, and I really need your presence right now. So have a wonderful day. Keep yourself safe. We'll see you again. God bless. Bye-bye.